action. What up, Luis? How you doing? What's up, man? Hey, so I, I heard you uh, you got uh, first place twice with uh, Lord Slug. Is that true? Yep. Holy Pretty shit. Pretty true. So uh, why, why did you choose to play uh, Lord Slug out of all the other um, the decks in the, the meta right now? Like Vanilla Koo's pretty strong, uh, Geneva's pretty strong. Uh, why, why did you choose to play Lord Slug for? Uh, well, I like the it's a little combo piece that it has. It's uh, really consistent, I feel like it is. And uh, you know, I like the idea, like how it's like hand destruction. Yeah, because we don't have something like that uh, right now because the cell chain's gone. Mm -hmm. So the next best thing is Lord Slug, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, how many how many Geneva matchups have you uh, played with uh, Lord Slug uh, through these two tournaments that you've won? Let's see. I think I've played against four or five. Four? Four or five. Damn. So you really had uh, good matchups uh, because you, you I'm, I'm assuming you beat all of them, right? Yeah. You didn't lose in Swiss and then somehow got first? No. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, I actually uh, did play one, it was pretty close. I almost lost that one, but I actually ended up uh, winning that one. Oh, I see, I see. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, yeah, let's check out the deck profile, man. Like, even though we can probably see it already. All so right. uh, let's let's try to view it like, uh, on the first card. All right. So let's see. First card is start off with good old wings. The must. Are those all foil? No, <laughs> just one. Sadly. Just one. Oh, okay. Well, soon, right? Because this is your favorite leader so far. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else you play? Okay. So four of that, and then we play the blocker. So that's four. Four blockers. Four yeah. blockers. Pretty standard. Mm -hmm. So four of everything, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, almost. I see. Almost. And we play four of the Lord Slug. Young again. Mm -hmm. I see. This is uh, the searcher one, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the searcher one. What do you uh, normally search for with uh, Lord Slug, Young again? Uh, if I don't have the wings, an opening hand, I like to search for the wings. I see. And then uh, if not. I like to search for the Agent of Destruction. Which is the 3 up. Yes. Okay, I see. Because that's like a... Or a Angela, or you search for Angela. Mm -hmm. Depending which on which one I don't have. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so you play... How many Angelas do you play? I play four. Four Angelas. Wow. Those are all foil, huh? Yep. Can I, can I see those? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. You're welcome, Luis. <laughs> Or Thanks, and so he really likes the Lord Slug deck, he, mm -hmm. as you guys can tell. Okay, yeah. and then you, of course you play four of the Agent of Destruction? Yes. I see. Play four, because this is the card that gets the combo, you know, keep, that keeps it going. Basically. I see, I see. So uh, turn one you play Wings ideally, mm -hmm. and then uh, turn two you play Young again? Yeah, and then, you know, depending if I have another Young, uh, the the return to was well, actually called return to form. I see, I see. So that one, you know, if I have two of them, I like to play two of them, you know, to really get my next turn set up. I see, really I see. Good because it turns into one. Yeah, because he makes all the Lord Slugs one energy. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, you know, I could search for uh, Angela, or, or I could search, or I could, you know, search for Angela and the Agent of Destruction. What would you say your hardest matchup was today? Hmm, let's see. I think it was, well, I mean, it's not always the hardest matchup, but the closest match I think would have had to have been the Janemba match. Okay, so even though you have a good matchup against Janemba... That, that one was pretty close. It was a pretty close you know, call. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, well, how, how often did you uh, were able to throw out all the, the Slugs Army card by turn 3, would you say, or turn mm -hmm. 4? Uh, very... Varies. Very, very uh, likely. Like, give me a give me a range here. Let's see. How many rounds? I think it was four rounds. I think in every round, I think I got it off. I I, I got it off every 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 turn three. Turn three. Yeah, wow. Turn three. That's crazy. And then so the turn three board would look like wings, uh, young again. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And uh, Angela and then agent of destruction. Yes. So you have four cards on the board. And you know possibly the. 
the blocker too. I see. You know, just to have that extra, you know, pressure against my opponent. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what else did you play besides these uh, Age of Destruction? Let's see. I played the Lords uh, Young Again, which is the. Oh, this is Young Again. The other one is named something Return. else, right? Return to form. Oh, Return to form. My bad. Mm -hmm. My bad, guys. So this is a uh, yeah Lords Young Young Again. So, uh, what what does he do again? Uh, he becomes. Let's see. I think it is Bond. Bond two. Bond two. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you guys don't know what Bond two does, uh, Bond two requires that you have uh, a Lord Slug, a Slug army. Yeah, Slug army. Depending on what it, uh, it wants mm -hmm. next to him, and the, depending on how many, it'll trigger. So if yeah. it says Bond 2, then you need two uh, Lord Slug Army. But yeah, so. You only need one, technically, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Because uh, Wings is technically a, Lord, uh, a, sl a Slug's Army. Yeah. So in order to get him to go off, you just need Wings. I see, I see. Did you ever get Kami? Like, did everyone just blow up your whole board with, like, uh, No, Kami? surprisingly not. Oh, okay, that's crazy. And I, I always uh, try to make sure that they wouldn't, because I would try to combo off, you know, any pieces that were, you know, extra. Oh, I see. So you you play around combo. Mm -hmm. so Even you combo, it, yeah. you combo it away so that you don't lose your whole board to combo. Yeah. That's smart. Crazy. Okay, I can see why you got first place twice. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did you play? Okay, so apart from that, I also played the big boss right here. Big boss monster, huh? Or big boss uh, Lord Slug. Mm -hmm. How often did you uh, trigger this? Is this every game? Uh, if I would actually get the extra turn to play him, I would play him. I see. All the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. So you would uh... basically keep. I would basically keep this one in active mode, so they wouldn't attack it. Yeah. And then on the following turn, I would play. I would evolve him for three energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. No two. Oh, energy. because with wings. No, 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 wings doesn't reduce the cost. No. Wow, it's only two costs. Yeah, it's only two costs. And you don't have to discard anything to e EX with all this Yes, guy? discard one. Oh, you have to discard one. But the trade-off is good because mm -hmm. you get to discard three cards. Exactly. And that's, that's, at, uh, that's at random. Okay. So it looks like you have a pretty standard deck. So show us something that, you know, only uh, you and your, your comrades uh, came up with. Let's see. Well, we had like a little dispute about this, but I thought this card was uh, better for uh, okay. Wow. Reason, so. so you chose to play Sayanel instead of uh, Paragus. Yes. Okay. So tell me why did you play Sayanel? Well, it's because uh, in this deck I chose to play uh, Assimilate. Oh, what's uh, what's Assimilate? Assimilate searches for uh, two. Oh, is that the one right there on your by your elbow? Yes. Okay. So Let's just show it to the people here. Okay, and they're all foil as well. Wow. So you really do like this deck. Look at this. Well, actually, one is not foil. One, no, one of them is not foil. But it's still... Well, these are actually looks all foil to me. Mm -hmm. Do you play four? Oh, you do four, play four. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't see that. Okay, so this card lets you search for a two drop. See, two drop, uh, green or yellow Namekian. So you have synergy. You could also search for the... Uh, the Lord Slug Return to return, Form. Return to Form, I see. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, if I have trouble opening up with uh, the Lord Slug Return to Form, Yeah. I also have a simulate there, you know, just as an emergency. To search for wings. To search for that wings. That makes sense. Okay, that's crazy. Or, or if I'm also searching uh, to Wait. finish off the game, I could also search for the super combo. I see. Mm. So a lot of toolboxing, I like that. Okay, cool. What else did you play uh, to really uh, counter the meta? I also played... Kamis? Good old Kami. Yes. What did, what did you play this against? Did you ever nuke uh, someone's board? No. No? You just used it to draw a card, exactly. basically? I see, I see. Okay, because cool. Uh, did you did you ever want to... So the reason why you played this is obviously for the vanilla coup, right? Yes. Okay. Or the mirror match. Yes, exactly. <laughs> in, in the rare exactly. event that you play a mirror match, you can nuke their board. Okay. Exactly. Cool, cool. And, you know, it's also a searchable target for uh, a sim... Oh, you're right. Is it? Is Maybe? It? No, no, it's not. Okay, it's good. Not, no, okay, good. I'm just trying. But I never had to do that, so okay. it's okay. Imagine you could search for a black no. uh, Namekian. You could just <laughs> search Kami. Yeah. And one of these. Yeah. Only one, huh? Mm -hmm. I see. So, have you pl ever played a uh, Hydra Mastery deck with Broly? The Broly leader? The I Broly. don't think so, not okay. yet. But I mean, you can never, you know. Yeah, it's really, it's growing crazy right now. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you 
and maybe in the future you would up this up to two or something. Exactly. To really see it. Okay, what else did you play? <laughs> I also played two. Uh, two Toa. Mm -hmm. So just in case you didn't get enough discarding, you exactly. discard them all. Okay. Plus give my leader an extra 5k. Oh yeah, you know? she does do that. I forgot. Yeah, and she requires no energy. Exactly. Okay. No energy, just free play over rounds. Okay. I see. What else did you play? One of these. Masked Saiyan. Why, why did you play this one? This is interesting. Let's see. This one was because of the the skillless. Oh, I see. You know, just because you know, if they over, if they over, you know, if they overextend right. in their in their uh, board, uh, I could just play that. Get rid of you know equal energy of five. You, you know. do know that if they do remove Android Eight and Goku at the same time, mm -hmm. it still triggers. Uh, the, that was an unfortunate ruling, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it does trigger. So yeah, but you know, I usually try not to do it like that because you know, if I'm playing this, it's most likely going to be the t the the turn that I uh, finish yeah finish it off. So he's interesting because uh, I, we did play for fun, and uh, I had the uh, Weiss Borgos kind of guy, and Borgos actually stops your uh, Lord Slug Young again. Mm -hmm. So it does come in clutch. It yes. does. So you can remove like Borgos off the field, mm -hmm. so that you can play Young again safely. Exactly. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else do you? Uh, what else do you play? I play two Champa. <laughs> you didn't want to play uh, the uh, Supreme Kai. Mm, no. So you always want to go double strike. You yeah. never want to go single strike. Always. Okay. Never guess to declare it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No. Well, that, that happens to a, you know it's the best of us sometimes. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean. You but know, it works it, well, right? With your does. front side. It does because in the in the scenario in which I do not open up uh, with wings. You can actually or, do damage. Exactly. Yeah. I can classic. Attack, classic Vegeta attack with combo. The leader. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. What else do you play? I also play two. Uh, okay, so tell me a story. Sorry, this is BO1. Most of your events were BO1. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, did you anticipate people were going to main deck Mercenary Tau against you? Is that why you main decked it? Mm. Or what was the real reason why you played this? Any cards that would interfere with uh, with my place were the reason for that. And I think there was one match in which they did. I see. So, what particular battle card were you trying to get rid of with uh, Krillin? It was in case of a mirror match, like uh, oh, you know, also against right. the wings. Right, because that wing has barrier. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this guy's mainly for the mirror match. Then that was your reason for uh, any of this. It, 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 it's in addition to that. I see. In addition to that. But yes, that's a that's a that's a, the main reason. But the main it, reason, okay. The card doesn't have to have a barrier. It does yeah, not. You're right. It, it, it all has to be two or less. Exactly. So what other? Uh, oh, you can kill uh, Sake Demon, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a one drop. Exactly. So. Okay. And cool. That, and that kind of resets, you know, the Janemba player. Right. Because you know. they would have to hard cast the uh, the three drop. Exactly. I see. So you did have removal in some case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Cool. What else did you play? Uh, did you, is this all your deck already? Let's see. Those are all the. Uh, Battle cards. Battle cards. Ooh. So, so you have some extra cards, huh? Yeah, not too many. Okay. Let's see. Four. Four Shark Death Ball. Crazy. Because mm -hmm. you know you can never be uh, too sure. Yeah. What do you? Uh, okay. So obviously it's a green card and it allows you to play with green leaders. But what card do you want to get rid of with Shark Death Ball? Let's see. Most likely, I think it would be the. The Godly Destruction Wees or... Or Borgos. Or Borgos or I think Mass Saiyan too. Mass Saiyan, the uh, one that that uh, makes you discard two cards? Yeah. If you... Oh, yeah. right, because a lot of your cards... Mm -hmm. Well, it's mainly, mainly... Are the... non-keyword non autos that come out. Yeah. I see. That's crazy, I never thought about that. Okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that all the extra cards or do you have more? Uh, one more. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Oh, one one secret tech preemptive strike. So, what's the what's the story behind this one? Uh, just to deal with anything that's probably gonna, you know, make a threat to uh, to my board. I see, I see. You know, it could be something small. It could be, you know, anything that's double strike. Uh huh. You know, anything like that. 
you know, like imagine if you played against Hide of Mastery and they play Path of Greatness, mm -hmm. you can probably preempt the strike them because it doesn't target. Exactly. Them. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So, is this all your deck? And then, of course, the leader. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah, you need the leader. Yeah, everybody knows he does already. Okay, cool. Awesome, man. Congratulations on, uh, what, two first place with the Lord Slug and yeah. beating five Janemba players. That's that's pretty impressive. Uh, two and in yeah, two in a row, especially. So, uh, yeah, do uh, you have any last words you want to say? Uh, quick shout out to Danny, Jose, and were they, Isaac. Were they the guys that helped you build this deck? Pretty much. The ones that helped me from the beginning were Danny and Jose. And then uh, it was uh, Isaac that also put in a few of these cards in here. I see. And you know, like I just did like maybe like a few adjusting to it at the end. And uh, you know, made it just like this. So. Yeah. Would you change any other card, uh, you know, going forward? Or would you just keep it the same uh, for BO3, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking maybe maybe the krill and maybe take one out or or just have it mainly for the sideboard. I see, I see. And what would you take it out for? Hmm. That'd actually be a tough one. Yeah, it would be. A, so it's so tightly packed deck, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. I see, I see. So okay, it, cool. All right, thank you, Luis, uh, for the deck profile, man, and uh, hope to see you more in the, the competitive uh, places. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what's up guys so this is the uh, matchup commentary if you guys are really interested in uh, knowing my thought processes uh, as the uh, stream goes on uh, here's what which you, you would uh, want to watch if you wanted to see what my thoughts and processes were uh, I, I sped up the video uh, the entire video is about um, two two to three hours long uh, around those ranges and uh, well that range is quite too long for commentary uh, in my opinion so I, I reduced the, um, the video down to about 20 minutes, maybe less. Um, yeah, it's about 20 minutes. So uh, here's a game where uh, Luis, who made the deck profile uh, on the left side, is playing uh, Marty. Well, his name is Martin, but I call him Marty. Uh, he's playing a Victory Strike U7 deck. So uh, I believe this is the only meta matchup that uh, Luis plays that I have recorded. Um, so that you guys can see exactly what is going on. So the video is going to be in fast motion, so uh, you'll see a lot of movements very quickly. But I will pause the video uh, as the video goes on, and uh, you will see that. Uh, and then I'll try to explain what's going on in my from my perspective. So um, here we go. So um, right off the bat, uh, we have Louis starting the game, and he charged a um, a Lord Slug, which is a green card, young again. And he just simply just takes a life. So my my guess is that he wants to uh, ensure that he has the most amount of life uh, in his hand uh, before he gets victory strike. So Lord Slug doesn't get slow rolled by U7 um, Frieza because that strategy uh, tends to stray away from attacking you, their opponent and getting him down to awakening because they want as much turns off as possible to play their victory strike on turn five and turn six and, and awaken. So. They do a lot of uh, passive plays where uh, at a certain turn they play their, their win condition and then they uh, outright win the victory uh, within uh, five, well, four turns because they play objection. So uh, I'll start the video now. So uh, And I will pause uh, just to uh, commentate just so that the video doesn't pass what I'm trying to talk about. So here it goes. So uh, Marty just a, charges a... Um, a yellow energy uh, in that deck they just want to just charge yellow energy most of the time um, because they want to play path of greatness and then by the time uh, turn four or five rolls around uh, they just want to retrieve the path of greatness and add it back to their hand and then play their height of mastery and then evolve into victory strike for uh, one energy and pitching a u7 to uh, evolve into him so uh, that's uh, marty's game plan um, Luis's game plan is to destroy his hand uh, and uh, rid him of that opportunity to um, uh, build his um, his energy up uh, and then play the victory strike. So that's his strategy in this matchup. So uh, we'll go on forward. So uh, Marty discards a card and he draws two and he searches for the Sun Gohan card. And he activates a uh, successor to search for a Gohan, which is a U7 card. 
and it doesn't require him to do any energy so he's already digging pretty deeply into his deck um, to uh, thin out his deck so that he can draw his victory strike so Marty passes his turn and he does it pretty quickly um, Luis starts his turn he charges another green no surprise there and this time so Luis takes a life I know that's pretty fast Luis takes a life and then he gives Lord Slug crit and uh, now he's trying to go for Marty's life and the reason why he goes for his life is that potentially victory strike might be in his life and if he um, crits him then he forces him to either discard a card out of his hand to uh, combo out of that uh, critical damage or he t he risks it, risks it so uh, Marty is obviously uh, want to keep his hand size up so he's gonna take the risk uh, I believe he takes the risk here and then takes the crit damage so here, here, here's what happens so he does take the crit damage and you see that he plays Shigesh so uh, very textbook uh, U7 deck uh, it plays Shigesh to play the Path of Greatness so um, yeah, the, the risk pays off. It's it's only like one out of fifty, so uh, the, the chance is pretty small that Victory Strike will uh, come out of his life. So, but nevertheless, that's what Luis is trying to do. So he has two energy, and now he taps out to play uh, Young Gan. So uh, here we know that uh, Luis doesn't have uh, wings um, in his opening hand, so he has to search for it uh, to get his engine going. Uh, wings is. Um, the main part of the engine because it reduces the cost of the big boss monsters by by one so here uh, he, he searches for it. I'm, I'm almost certain he searched for wings here Yep, and he searches his foil one. <laughs> he only owns one foil so uh, shuffling happens and um, Obviously Luis is pat tapped out so he passes uh, There's only really nothing else. well here. He could probably play the the free blocker I think he does that. Let's see. No, he doesn't. So he passes his turn. Uh, Marty already knows what to charge. Uh, he charges the height of mastery, and then he's already ready to uh, discard the Sun Gohan to his uh, drop to draw two. This is what I'm thinking. The one he searched off of. Yeah. So he, the one he searched off of, um, successor. So he draws two. And if you noticed the uh, last turn, Marty did not attack. Uh, the Lord Slug deck, and that's because, as I said before, that deck doesn't really want to attack. It just wants to keep uh, drawing, 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 and then digging, 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 and then not awakening the opponent because that would give him more cards to deal with them. So that's why he, ne he never attacks uh, until Victor Shark comes out. Um, the only time that they do attack is when it when they attack Battle Cards or Rest Mode. That's all they do. They want to make sure that all the threats are gone and all the advantage. Uh, is taken away because from being unawakened for so long. So Marty takes the uh, Path of Greatness off of um, Planet Planet Vegeta because it can search for that, uh, and then he taps out his last energy to play Kanoa. So um, one of the weaknesses of Victory Strike is be is um, Shigesh explosive. So um, I believe Marty plays Kanoa just so he doesn't get uh, blown out of the water uh, by Shigesh explosive. When his win condition is to uh, take your opponent out with um, Victor Strike or Sun Goku Awakened Power, if you want to call it that. So uh, now it's turn three. Um, most most games don't go into turn uh, three or higher with certain decks, uh, such as the Green Broly deck. But this is more a slower game. Uh, so he contemplates what's his charge. He charges an Angela, and now uh, he takes the crit damage again. So I mean, he t takes a life for the crit. So now he's uh, most likely going to do the same strategy where he attacks with Lord Slug again to uh, force him to combo uh, either out of his hand or on the field. But uh, Luis is a very conservative player. He doesn't want to combo anything, so he just keeps it at 10 and obviously Marty combos the Cronoa. So now he has 3 energy and now he plays the, the wings. So uh, last turn he searched for uh, the wings by tapping out. And he searches for, and he plays the wing this turn on turn three, which is a little late for Lord Slug. But Lord Slug is one of those decks where he, they can't really dig deep into their deck. Rather, you have to be, um, you have to mulligan correctly, and you have to hope that you draw wings. Otherwise, you have to search for it. So turn three wings is okay still. So he, he sets it up, and he plays it on turn three. Now he's looking through his hand, and I believe he contemplates whether he wants to. Uh, he's only paid one energy. Okay, so he searches for return to form, 
so he uses return to form to search for Angela. So my guess is he already has, um, he already has uh, Lord Slug uh, Young again in his hand to revive Angela from the discard. So we'll see. So he keeps one energy open. Um, so here uh, he hasn't been doing any discarding um, in any form. Uh, Marty's just been keeping his hand size up. He knows that he probably kept Victory Strike in his hand. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. So here he charges a blue. Uh, this is where uh, normally he's supposed to uh, charge a blue on turn two and then play Objection. But my guess is he didn't draw a blue or he didn't have Objection, one or the other. So now he's going to probably do Objection here. That's why he charged blue. So, um, or he probably has to draw into it. So, um, and it looks like he doesn't draw into objection, so it looks like he, he opens a pretty um, non non progressive. So he plays that, he searches for that, and he plays oh he does have objection, so yeah, so turn this is a turn three objection. So now he has four energy. Uh, it looks like he just passes here um, by not doing anything uh, after objection and all he did was just dig deeper, so that's what happened. So now it's turn four and Luis uh, takes a life. And he gives him crit again. So here, uh, what's funny is that he never uh, awakens when he takes the last life for the crit to, to awaken. He instead just attacks uh, on the on the front side to um, further uh, pressure him into thinking that he might crit the, the victory strike out of his life. So yeah, pretty interesting play. Uh, and of course he doesn't uh, he doesn't combo. So he forces Marty to discard a 5k combo shield, which is. Uh, another card of his hand. So now he awakens and this time I believe he uses the, the leader ability to discard a card out of his opponent's hand if he discards one of them. One of his. Uh, Assimilate is one of those cool cards in this deck that lets you search for a super combo and it lets you search for Lord Slug uh, Return to Form. Uh, Lord, Sl Lord Slug Return to Form allows you to um, fetch out any card out of your deck basically um, that you might need for the Lord Slug matchup. So Assimilate just basically becomes a latent um, toolbox card um, in the sense that it doesn't search for the three or four cost um, Namekians or the Lord Slug army that you might need but it does search for Lord Slug uh, return to form and when you play that card uh, you can search for any uh, Lord Slug or Slug's army card that's four or lower so it's a latent toolbox card like I said before but here uh, he wants to search for Sayano which is the um, Namekian uh, yes, yeah, the Mechian uh, five uh, five cost a uh, five life um, super combo. So you can activate it at five life, but in this case, he's just simply using it to search for the uh, super combo, which is pretty cool. So now he's a four four energy, and uh, now he activates uh, Lord Slug on the back side, even after attacking on the front side to discard an extra card. So. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Uh, I had to take a phone call. Um, so where were we? Uh, here we, uh, it's turn four, and uh, he pays three energy to play young again. Uh, the cost is reduced uh, by one, so uh, Wings does that for you. And the cool thing about uh, Lord Slug Young again is that you can revive a uh, Lord Slug army from your uh, your discard. So here he, uh, earlier uh, he discarded, I think it was last turn, he discarded the uh, the Agent of Destruction to discard one card out of his hand. So if you think about it, uh, he never really lost anything when he plays a Young again because he revives the, the same card he discards back from the, 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 the drop area. So here he revives it. And he also untaps an energy, which is pretty cool. So this, this guy, this Agent of Destruction is one of the key components um, because it reduces the cost of... Well, it doesn't reduce the cost. Uh, more of... Uh, you activate the skill and you get to play a Lord Slug uh, or, or Slug's Army from your hand that's three cost or less except for itself. Uh, so you can't choose a different copy and then play it in. Otherwise you would have like this endless loop and it would be insane. Uh, but pretty cool still because um, if you do have an Angela in your hand, all you have to do is pay one green energy and you can play Angela. And Angela is the main reason why uh, most players lose all their hand. So, um, or start to lose their hand every turn. So we'll see what happens. So he untaps an energy. So uh, in essence, uh, Lord Slug Young again, which is the card that retrieves the card from the drop area into and puts it into play, 
in essence that card only costs uh, two energy uh, because he untaps an energy when he comes into play so uh, that's why uh, Luis has only spent three energy to build this uh, gigantic board so as I said before uh, he uses the agent instruction and he makes the Angela come out and the Angela is the one where if she does attack and I believe it's a bond two card uh, if there's other slugs army on the on the board along with her or him I don't know if it's her or him I'm just gonna call uh, it Angela uh, when Angela attacks, uh, then they have to discard a card of the other hand, and she does critical damage. So, uh, if they want to stop the crit damage from happening, they have to discard additional cards to stop the um, yeah to stop the the attack. So, uh, otherwise, they would have to take the crit damage, and then that that possibly makes them lose uh, victory strike out of their hand. So, here uh, he attacks with Angela, and I believe he discards Roshi. Yeah, he discards Roshi, and, uh, wait, what happened? Let's go back. So he plays Angela, and he discards Roshi, yeah. And then, I believe, Luis doesn't combo? Let's see here. Yeah, he doesn't combo. And also, Marty doesn't combo, so he just rather takes the crit damage. And it looks like he's trying to... Uh, hold on to his path of greatness in his hand so he doesn't lose it in the discard so Marty's already at uh, four cards in hand and when he starts his turn he draws so looks like Luis doesn't attack him further to awaken him so now he charges to five uh, here uh, Marty's thinking man this is a difficult choice to charge because now I have less choices in my hand to charge so uh, he reads the agent of destruction I believe he charges one of his components, uh, but he's reluctant to do so. Uh, what did he charge? It looks like he charges. Uh, oh, he charges Path to Greatness, and he discards uh, Hope of the Se Hope of the Universe Seven to draw two cards. So here he has five energy, and he's reduced to five cards in hand. So uh, still looking, he's looking at his hand, and he has no effective way of dealing with the board. Um, because his main strategy is to, like I said before, get to turn 5, which he did. Well, not turn 5, but turn 4, which he did. But he's unable to um, capitalize on this specific turn due to his um, uh, shrunken hand size, due to his, um, due to Luis uh, shrinking his hand size uh, every turn. So this is a very turn-by-turn -turn based kind of deck. picks up a card and reads it and uh, it's looking pretty hopeless for him because he does have Nimbus in hand he can stop the attack but he can't stop the hand destruction so he pays four energy to play the Frieza and now he's thinking whether he should discard a card to put him all in rest mode he doesn't so or maybe he does actually so um, he discards maybe a U7 to put two cards in rest mode and I believe he chooses the Angela because that's the card that's making him lose cards out of his hand so he scars that, he rests his, I believe he chooses, yeah. Yeah, I, think, I believe the, the wording of Frieza is you get to choose two cards and put in a rest mode, and then choose two additional cards, and those cards cannot be um, untapped. But it looks like, no, he just chooses to rest the two and then leave it, yeah. I'm not sure what the wording is, but um, I would have to check that out. Uh, I'm not expecting this. So now Luis is at five energy, and Marty's hand size is only at three, and uh, he has a lot of firepower at this point because, <laughs> yeah. So uh, what that Titanic uh, ambition Lord Slug does is that you could uh, pay two energy and EX evolve on top of a Lord Slug, and then they have to discard uh, three cards out of their hand. So if if Marty already has the victory strike in hand, he already has to discard it. So we'll see if he has it or not. So he plays Titanic Ambition. Oh, and then he scoops. So that's the end of the game. Um, it looks like that's how uh, he wins, is uh, he dwindles your hand slowly every turn using the critical on the front side. Uh, and um, on the back side, he uh, viciously discards cards out of his hand uh, to discard their opponent's hand further. And he uses Angela to, to crit them 
and discard more additionally. And then when they have three cards left in hand, he uh, EX evolves into the Titanic Ambition, and then he finishes off. So uh, that was my commentary just for one game. Uh, I felt like I, I just wanted to show you guys how the Lord Slug deck does uh, and how Luis pilots it. Uh, I think he plays it very well. Uh, he also plays a lot of tech cards in this to, to do well going second as well as going first. So uh, he's also he's also accounted for the, the meta. So he's played uh, Father, Son, Kamehameha to uh, really deal with uh, really turboed out plays um, that he can't deal with. So plays like playing um, uh, the six drop Broly uh, on turn two or three. Uh, he can just Father, Son, Kamehameha away and then he can just do his normal game plan uh, as he did before. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys really like my content, I'll continue to do this in the future. Just give me a thumbs up or just say it in the comment section that you really enjoy what these commentations do for you guys to, to really understand um, the thought processes behind my, uh, my friend's uh, deck profile. So yeah, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and say that you really enjoy his content. If not, then I'll just discontinue doing it. So uh, peace out guys.